Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Diane Desiel and today I'm showing you how to do the paper bag waist. It's a little variation of the elastic waistband. Now, like I said before, uh, the paper bag waist is a variation of the elastic waist. So I'm going to use the same short block that I did in my last video. And we're going to do it pretty much the same way. So I'm going to trace a first part of the short. Then I'm going to move for the second part. Last time we did move parallel two centimeter and today I'm going to move parallel four centimeter because I want it a little looser. Once the first part is traced, we mark the four centimeter on the top and at the bottom. Then you could move your pattern until the new reference and trace the second part. Now we could use one or the other reference to trace the grain line. And like I did last time, I'm going to indicate two centimeter out on the side seam at the top part of the waist. Because remember, you have your seam allowance include, but we we'll leave it to drop the crotch. So the top line, two cm, and you mark. Then you could connect the two centimeter to the, the strongest point on the side seam. Now it's time to do the box for the top part. So we're going to start just like last time. We're going to connect the two centimeter out to the center back crotch point and trace a straight line. Now I'm showing you my short because I want you to understand what we're doing. The last line that we just traced is the top stitch that you see on my short. So I need to add whatever I want to go up plus the same measurement and an extra five millimeter for the inside part. Now for this example, I use the measurement of seven centimeter on top of my new waistline. Now we're going to be ready to add the inside part. So like I was saying, it's the same measurement plus five millimeter. So 7.5. Then we could close the box by tracing square from one of these lines, touching the waist and crotch point, and on the other side, touching the two centimeter out at the waist and side seam. Now here's what I did for the back. I did place a little elastic to hold it a bit. So I just have to worry for the pleating in the front when I put my belt on. Now what I did is I cut an elastic only for the back waist of about 46 centimeter or 18 inches. And I sew my elastic at the edge of the inside part before doing my overlock. And after I did my top stitch all around. So now the back pattern is finished. Now for the front, we do exactly the same. So I trace the first part until the grain line. I'm going to open four centimeter top and bottom, move to trace the second part. Here again, you use one or the other reference to do your grain line. Now we do the two centimeter out at the waist and side seam. Then we connect the waist crotch point with the two centimeter out. Also here, we're going to connect this two centimeter to the strongest part of the side seam. Now we're going to measure the seven centimeter for the outside part. Then the inside part, 7.5. Now we connect with a square from one of these two lines, connect the two centimeter out and the center front crotch and waist point. Square with one of the two lines. Now 
Now both pieces are done and you're going to place the normal notch, I mean the crotch notch for front and back, the hem notch front and back, and also you have one for the hip on the front and the back. These pattern pieces are cut two times the front, two times the back, and you're going to put additional notch for the fold line. So the, this one here, you're going to place notches on both sides of the front and the back. Now I guess you noticed that I did place loop on the front and on the back to hold the waistband. I think it's a good idea, you don't lose it. If you want to place it by eyes after or by measuring after, it's okay. But you could also put a reference at the inside part. So it's a good guide that you could watch inside after. And that's what I did. So in the front, my, the center of my loop is at 8 centimeter from the side seam. Now to place the notch for the loop, remember that you have your seam allowance included. So if you want eight, eight centimeter finish, measure from the seam line eight centimeter. Now for the back loop, I place them closer to my center back. And if I measure over here, they're at six centimeter from the center back. Here again, I'm going to start from my seam line to measure my six centimeter. Now you might want to do your own waistband just like I did. It's the, the most simple thing you could do. It's just a rectangle piece that I cut in an angle on one side and I did so a double ring at the other hand. So it's very simple to use and simple to do. Now you might want to do the pattern for the loop and the belt. So I'm going to give you the measurement that I used right now. Starting with the loop, I did it in one piece. So two front loop and two back loop. The front was 13.5 because if you notice, I did it extra long with an, a double loop at the bottom just for decoration. And the back loop were nine centimeter. The width of this piece is 3.5 centimeter and I cut it on the grain line only one time. The way to do it is to cut it, overlock one side, then I did fold the unfinished side first by one third of the width and then the overlock side over and I did two top stitch, one at the edge and another one at the other edge of the overlock. After you could cut with the right measurement that you need. Now for the belt, I decided to do it in two pieces so it would be easier for you to place on your fabric and cut. So the first one is a rectangle piece of 39 centimeter by 10 centimeter wide and it's cut one time once it's sewn as a tube using a one centimeter seam allowance is going to give you a belt of four centimeter finish width. Now the second piece, the longest one with the point is going to be also 10 centimeter wide, but this time you have a measurement for the center line. So at five centimeter, I measure 75 centimeter. And to create the point, I came back in four centimeter. So the outside line will be 71 centimeter. And once it's sewn, you get your point. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.